thank you for this incredible award. Uh, my greatest achievement professionally beyond having Hudson Nevada, my four and two year old, um, is becoming the youngest equity partner at McCarter and English. Thank you. I am the daughter of two immigrants from El Salvador. I too was born in El Salvador. I came here at the age of two. And like many, I am a first generation attorney. Um, it's so important to mentor and that is one of the things I am most proud of. I'm really proud of the opportunities to give back to communities and have them see an attorney that looks like them. Good evening. Thank you for this recognition and congratulations to all of my fellow recipients. The achievement I am most proud of is the work I've done for the organizations which have given so much to me. My career has been the product of people reaching out and helping me for me, Ivan Madrigal Espinosa helping me to get my first application and, and fellowship out of law school and all along the way. And people have just been throwing down the ladder to help me climb. And I think my achievement that I'm most proud of is trying to continue that legacy uh, and throwing down the ladder for the next generation of brown and black attorneys. I'm grateful for them and I'm excited for the future. Hello, my name is Mariu Sedeña Peña, and aside from this recognition, I'm particularly proud of helping hundreds of students of color from my alma mater, Cornell Law School, land the job of their dreams. When I was president of LAUSA, I founded the first ever professional development boot camp. I'm a strong believer that you must lift as you rise, and founding boot camp was my small way of forever staying true to those words. Thank you for this incredible recognition. My name is Greg Chase, and my greatest legal achievement is when I was the president of the Connecticut Hispanic Bar Association, I created a partnership with Junior Achievement. Our attorneys work with Junior Achievement so that we can be on panels, mentorships, and go to career days for these middle schoolers and high school schoolers so that we can encourage them to be the attorneys of the future. My greatest professional accomplishment to date would be my participation in former U.S. Attorney General Janet Reno's estate litigation. A few years ago, I had the privilege of assisting Ms. Reno's family in bringing to life her testamentary wishes relative to her historic homestead located in South Florida. This case is an example of why I pursued a career in law, and it highlights what a privilege it is for us attorneys to help those who need an advocate. As a gay Latino, and now dad. I had reservations about what it would mean for me to practice law while being authentically myself. I'm most proud of the countless students and junior attorneys that I've mentored, both formally and informally, to help and bring in them one powerful message. They belong. The accomplishment I'm most proud of is having immigrated to the United States as a fifth grader and integrating into a school without an English as a second language program. I'm incredibly grateful to be bilingual and to get to use my Spanish language skills to better serve my clients. Hi, my name is Cesar Martin Estella. The achievement I'm most proud of is founding my own law firm about a year out of law school. I was at a protest, someone was wearing a t-shirt it read, no human being is illegal. Reading those words, researching those words, and learning the power of those words put me on this path. I'm very proud that I can look back and tell my teenage self we did this. The achievement I'm most proud of myself is the way in which, together with my team, we have transformed the life science legal sector in Mexico. Today, I'm happy to share that 2022 was the first year in which more than one woman was listed under the most important legal rankings within the life science sector. And I'm very proud to have been part of that transformation and that change. I am most proud of my role with Planned Parenthood of the Rocky Mountain Action Fund. As board chair, I've had the opportunity to make sure reproductive health care and reproductive rights are protected in New Mexico and to ensure that providers are able to provide essential reproductive care to patients without interference from other states. Hi, my name is Alexandra Gio, and the achievement I'm most proud of is being the first attorney in my family. I will always be proud of my Colombian roots. Y siempre he estado orgullosa de ser colombiana. It is an honor to have been selected as one of the top lawyers under 40 for the HMBA this year. 
One of my proud accomplishments this past year was to be selected as the National Hiring Committee Chair for our firm. We're uh, a not yet sufficiently tapped resource, and so I, I look forward to continuing to work to recruit additional Latino lawyers into our firm and into the broader practice of law at large law firms. My name is Enrique Iturralde, and I'm a partner at Fabricant. Thank you to the HMBA leadership for this very special recognition as a top lawyer under 40. I'm so proud of my team's achievements since the launch of Fabricant in July 2020. In the past year alone, we have almost doubled in size, and I'm proud to say that growth included the addition of several very talented Hispanic associates. I'm proud of the work of Fabricant and the HMBA, and I look forward to supporting the professional development and the strong upward trends of the Hispanic legal community. Growing up, no one in my family had ever finished college, let alone pursued a law degree. But I was determined to break that cycle, despite facing many obstacles and challenges along the way. And now I am proud to say that I'm the first person in my family to have graduated from college and law school. I hope that my accomplishment inspires others to believe in themselves and to reach for their own goals, no matter how impossible they may seem at first. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to litigate a civil forfeiture case that made it all the way up to the Texas Supreme Court. The same week of oral argument, I was preferentially set on a murder trial. And at the same time, I was eight and a half months pregnant, sick with a cold, and I had a one-year-old. I am most proud of my ability to be able to tackle anything that comes my way and to pursue a career and my passion while maintaining a family and doing what I love. So what am I most proud of? I would say just being able to be where I am today. I feel extremely blessed that within a half generation, having arrived in this country at the age of four, I was able to obtain not one, but two higher ed degrees, became a lawyer, and have been able to help give back both to my community and to help my parents and my family financially. And I'm just very lucky and blessed to have that opportunity. My name is Mike Molina. I'm Vice President of Legal and Deputy General Counsel at Flock Safety. One of the things I'm most proud of this year has been building out my legal team and scaling 6x in the last year with diverse professionals. It's imperative to me that we're giving young attorneys of color the opportunity to work at startups, at venture-backed companies, and not just giving them a seat at a table, but giving them a seat at a round table where their voices are equally heard. Hello everyone, my name is David Moreno. Thank you so much for this award. I've accomplished a lot in my career, but the thing that I'm most proud of is that I've always prioritized showing up authentically and being my true, fullest self. Particularly because I've always been one of the only or the only minority in my organizations. Because of this, I feel so grateful that folks that have come behind me, people that I've mentored, younger lawyers can now show up authentically as well because they feel comfortable knowing that I'm here and that I've also done it. My greatest professional accomplishment has been to use the law in order to create real lasting change for low-income kids and families. As a deputy county solicitor in Bucks, my role is to support the Human Services Division and to help make sure that the neighbors in my community have the resources they need to have a full, happy, and productive life. so much to the HMBA for this incredible honor. It's a privilege to be considered amongst my fellow awardees. Congrats to us all, whether it be pro bono victories, community service opportunities, or even working on large, impactful deals. But I'm probably most proud of my work with the HMBA. My career would not be what it is without the generous mentorship, friendship, sponsorship, of countless attorneys who are members of the HMBA. Uh, I'm a proud alumnus of the IPLI program, and that program single-handedly changed the trajectory of my career. Thank you so much. I'm most proud of where I am today professionally. Among extraordinary individuals in this year's top lawyers under 40, selected by HMBA, a group of some of the best lawyers in the country, 
and for over five years now at DLA Piper, one of the premier law firms in the world. Why? Because during law school, I wasn't selected for a position as a summer associate. And since then, I've thrived with lots of hard work in my profession and serving my clients. I'm most proud to be the first lawyer in my family. This achievement is a culmination of my family's hopes, sacrifices, and hard work. And I hope to inspire others in the Latinx community to also consider the profession, even if they too will be the first. Si se puede. I'm Marisol Salviejo, and one of the professional achievements that I'm most proud of is when I graduated as an honor graduate from the National Security Law Masters of Law. I had three kids, five and under, and the community that came around me to support me to be able to achieve this, from my husband to my parents to my in-laws, is what I'm most proud of, is that sense of community that was built around me to allow me to achieve this, this great achievement of graduating number two out of 118 field grade officers. My name is Diana Santos Johnson, and I'm an attorney at Waldrop Wall, Babcock & Bailey. I am most proud of becoming an attorney that helps others. In the first part of my career, I assisted many people in protecting their homes through bankruptcy. Now I help individuals and companies obtain compensation from entities that have filed bankruptcy. I plan to continue to help others throughout the rest of my career. First, I want to thank the HNBA for naming me a top lawyer under 40. It is a great honor and privilege. My greatest achievement is, in fact, a personal attribute. I am proud of my ability to overcome fear and to live bravely. From serving in the Peace Corps in El Salvador to running multiple marathons, um, backpacking South America solo, this has allowed me to experience things in life that I never knew I would and to accomplish things that I never thought I could. Thank you again for this great honor and opportunity. As a lawyer, I've had the opportunity to argue my clients' cases to jurors or at courts of appeal. And those moments and others have been amazing and so rewarding. But those moments cannot compare to that time where I got to call my clients in Iraq to tell them that their refugee resettlement application had been approved. The accomplishments I'm most proud of are those moments where I've been able to use my law degree and help people who otherwise may not have access to legal representation gain that access. The achievement I'm most proud of is becoming a lawyer. Ever since I was a little girl, my parents always said that I was quite mouthy and always fighting for what I thought was right. I think that when I finally became a lawyer in 2010 and passed the California bar, it was my proudest achievement to date. My greatest accomplishment was graduating law school and passing the bar exam. I got sick after my first year of law school and I was then diagnosed my second year with an autoimmune illness called lupus. I come from a family where if you're sick, you still push through no matter what. It's all about hard work. Unfortunately, that doesn't really work with lupus. And once I graduated and passed, it felt like I could do anything. And it's a great reminder to this day that I can still do anything even when it seems impossible.